Hey, what's up? This is Scott with the Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to add Discuss to your Drupal site using the Discuss module and then the service Discuss that they offer. So, I don't know about you, but I've been to a ton of blogs and a ton of websites where they have this commenting system that's really nice and easy. If you click here, it lets you log in with your Twitter, your Facebook, um, or you can even create a Discuss account and log in, and this system's just really nice. It's become sort of a standard that's nice and easy to use, that people are sort of used to by now. You can upvote and downvote, you can report uh, comments for spam really easily. It's just a really nice thing to add to your website. I like it much more than the built-in Drupal commenting system. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to take this and add this into your site. So if you wanna go ahead and go to discuss.com, that's D-I-S, qus.com and you want to go ahead and first you're going to have to create an account. So go ahead and click sign up. I'm going to log into my account that I've already created and we can get going from there. Okay, so now that you've logged in, um, it's going to show you all your sites that you have moderating and stuff like that. This is sort of like a, uh, a dashboard for your admin. Um, as you can see, I already have a couple sites here. Let's go to our dashboard and let's add a new site. I'm going to add this for my own personal website. So let's click add, and then it's gonna ask for the site URL. This is, a, right now it's a local host. Um, so um, I'm just going to use scotttolinsky.com as the URL because that's what it's going to be. And so we'll just say that it's, um, okay. So that way you can keep it separated from your other sites. I'll click continue. And it's going to ask you where you're using this. And you can see they have plugins for all sorts of different content management systems, all sorts of stuff. You can even use it on something like Blogger or Tumblr. As you can see, Drupal is right here. So we're just going to click Drupal. Okay, and now it's going to tell you exactly what to do. It gives you the link to where the module is. As you can see, that's just a normal Discuss module. And it's going to tell you how to install it in six easy steps. So we're going to download this module and we're going to install it into our modules folder. And if you remember that's in sites, all modules, just go ahead and grab this and throw it in there. Okay. Now let's click out of here. And as you can see, the next step, you know, put it in your site's all modules. Okay, did that. Now we need to enable the module. Let's go to modules. We'll go and look for discuss. Let's see. Actually, I'm just going to go search for it, discuss. Okay, we'll enable that. Let's save the configuration. Now it's just going to want us to go to admin settings, discuss, and it's gonna tell you to add your short name. My short name is Scott Talinsky, so we'll just copy that here. Let's go to configuration. And let's go to discuss. It's right down here under web services on the right. And we're gonna add our short name, Scott Talinsky. Okay, and you can, let's go back here. It says, which nodes do you want Discuss to appear on? And then you can uh, just enable Discuss commenting permissions. Okay, cool. So let's close out of these. And we want these Discuss comments to show up on our articles, which are really our blog posts. And we want to show them in the content area. You could actually choose them to display as a block. And in that case, you would have to add the block onto the page that you want to show. So if you chose block, this is just going to create a block and then you can put it wherever you want. I want it to be in the content area. I just want it to be at the bottom of it. So no big deal. We'll just select content area here. And if, you know, for some reason you wanted to be at the very top, I can't imagine why you could, you know, change the weight, but we'll just leave it at 50. So under behavior, it's going to ask for your user API key. You can get yours where it says get yours here. It'll open up in a new tab. Um, for security reasons, I'm just not going to show you what my user API key is, but grab it. And then um, after that, we can go to advanced. And as you can see, it's asking for a public key and a secret key. These are some for some advanced features, but for the most part, you don't need to use them. Uh, for right now, we just want the comments to show up, so don't worry about that. We'll just click save here. Okay, so now let's just go to a piece of content, one of our articles. Um, 
Let's go to just find content and grab one of our articles. Let's see, this uh, test one looks nice. Okay, if you remember this one from before, we have lots of big images. We'll scroll down here. It actually says it can't connect to our URL. Well, that's because this HTTP local whatever, this is, this Gus is basically looking for our site in our services and saying, well, this isn't a real um, site, so we can't find it. So what you're gonna have to do is go back to configuration and then in Discuss, right here, under Behavior, you're gonna to wanna to click this Testing. And this is basically gonna put you in developer mode. Since you're working locally, if we save that with a developer and then we refresh our page, let's see, let's refresh this. Okay, here's our Discuss. So go, let's go to another piece of content that I've already had. And let's just check this out. As you can see, this is this one's a little bit easier to read, which is why I went here. Um, you can see Discuss shows up. It's no big deal. I can just make a post. Hey, what's up? And uh, it's going to work now because it's not checking to make sure you're at that URL that it told it to be. Of course, when you put your site live and or you have it on the internet and it's already live, you're not going to want to use the testing and it should show up fine. So as you can see, it's pretty painless. It took a couple seconds to install that module, get it going, and I now have Discuss on all of my articles. If I wanted to add Discuss to any of my other node types, it's as easy as just clicking it here, and it's gonna show up at the bottom in the content area. If you need it more configurable, you can always have it show up as a block. Okay, well that's how to add the Discuss commenting system to your site or blog using Drupal 7 and the Discuss module. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment on the video. Hit us up at Twitter or LevelUpTuts. Just let us know what you're thinking. Once again, this is Scott, and thanks for watching. Bye.